Hi, my name is Becky Bloomfield. I'm the Field to Fork Coordinator for the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. And today we're going to be doing a field dressing demonstration on this white-tailed doe. We're doing this method today because it is easy and simple and you don't need a lot of tools. The reason you want to field dress your deer is it stops meat spoilage because it starts cooling down the deer immediately. It keeps it clean and it's going to make it lighter for you to move out of the field. So we've got our doe here. We've got her tied up to a tree around the neck. That's going to help me since I'm working alone. It gives me a little bit to pull against. And then we're also using the hill to our advantage. She's laying downhill and gravity is going to help roll the guts out as we work. In Kentucky, it's required that you fill out your harvest log before you move your animal. I've already got mine filled out, so we're going to get started. We're going to wear gloves to protect us and keep the meat clean. And then all you need is a small blade. You don't need anything uh, really long. I like to use a skinny, sharp knife, something that fits in my hand where I can control the blade really easily. So first thing we got to do is core out the anus. I'm just going to lift her legs up like this to give myself the most area to work with. And so we're going to cut through the connective tissues around the anus here. So the reason we core is to keep all of the lower intestines intact so you don't have to cut through them and that way you're not contaminating your knife blade or any of the meat. So I'm also being careful with my knife not to cut through the intestine. And you wanna just go as deep as your knife blade will let you and just cut through the skin and that connective tissue. We do this part first to keep all of the lower intestine intact. Once we get into the body cavity, we're not fighting against the stomach to get down in here and cut this out. Just cutting that muscle tissue. All right, so we've gotten that free. We didn't cut into the meat, we just followed the pelvis and put our knife blade as deep as it would go, cutting this fatty tissue that holds the rectum in place. So now we're gonna cut the skin, we're gonna split the hide open, and we're gonna start at the top of the sternum here. And that's a good bony portion. It's a good place to start. You don't have to worry about cutting too deep. So I'm just gonna pinch up here on the sternum, on the breast bone, make a small incision, and then I'm gonna go inside the hide and cut from the inside out. We're just cutting the skin right now, inside and cutting out. We're gonna do that all the way down to the original cut that we made. So I just stepped inside her leg to give myself a little bit more space to work with. I can see a little bit better, so I'm holding her up with my leg here and just continuing this cut all the way down. Okay, now that we've met our original cut here, you can cut straight down at the middle of the pelvis here to the bone. And what that's gonna do is open her up a little bit more and give us just a little bit more room to work with. So we've made it to the pelvis bone. It's a hard bone there that gives us a good place to stop. Now that we've gotten the skin opened up, we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna cut through the muscle down to the sternum. This gives us a good place to start. We're gonna begin at the end of the sternum here. You can feel where it gets soft. We're gonna begin to open up the abdominal cavity, cutting through this abdominal muscle here. Now we're just gonna make a little cut and we're gonna be careful as we enter in to the abdomen here. We're just gonna make a cut big enough to get our hand in there and we're gonna use our hand that we're not cutting with to push the stomach away from the knife blade. And again, we're cutting from the inside out. I have my knife blade pointed up and we're just going from the inside out very carefully. There's no need to get in a hurry while doing this. What we're trying to do is keep all of the intestines, the stomach, the digestive organs intact to minimize meat spoilage. And again, I'm using my leg to hold her up so I can see what I'm doing. We're gonna do this all the way down to the pelvis here. Okay, so we met our cut down here at the pelvis. So what you're seeing here is the stomach and the intestines, they're already starting to roll out. It's still connected by some tissue along the spine and the diaphragm. So the diaphragm separates the heart and the lungs from the rest of the internal organs. We need to cut around the diaphragm on both sides so that we can continue to roll the guts out. 
So we're gonna reach up into the chest cavity a little bit and above the liver and the stomach, you can see this muscle wall. This is the diaphragm. That's separating the heart and the lungs from the rest of the organs. This is where our short blade comes in handy. Work up in here and puncture that and cut around. Cutting the diaphragm to the back. So now we've opened up and we can get to the lungs and the heart and the esophagus, which is what we're going to sever to start pulling everything down. So now that we've cut the diaphragm, we're gonna reach up in here. And we're reaching up all the way up to find the esophagus. And the esophagus feels like a ribbed, hard ribbed garden hose. Okay, so I've got it. I'm gonna come back in, grab that hose and sever it. And I'm using my blade to work down away from my fingers. And I'm kind of using my other hand to pull towards the outside of the body, towards the direction we wanna come. And we're just gonna start pulling downhill here. Now remember, we gotta cut the other side of the diaphragm, so that's hanging us up a little bit. And there's some fatty tissue along the spine where the kidneys are. We're just gonna reach back there and trim that a little bit. Okay, so we paused here to show you. This is the heart. It's a good sturdy muscle here. Here's our lungs. You can see how soft and light those organs are. And in between, the lungs, you can see our esophagus that we severed here. And so we just grabbed that after we cut it and we're pulling out and down and trimming away some fatty tissue along the spine. So what I'm grabbing here and pulling against is the rest of the diaphragm. I'm gonna start trimming that away. And there's no need to get in a hurry here either, especially when you can't see your knife blade and you're doing it by feel. As I free up these internal organs, I'm pulling them out and just finding the rest of the connective tissue. I'm actually gonna open her up and use my leg again to prop her open. And you can see that the only thing left here is the rest of the large intestine that we need to free up on this side, held on by some fatty tissue. There we go. All right. Here you can see our inner loins. They're right against the backbone. And we'll take those out and keep those. Okay, so all of our guts are out and we're just gonna look. There are some that you might be interested in keeping that are pretty nutritious. First thing we've got here, this dark organ that's laying against the stomach, that's your liver. And so you can trim that off carefully. You can see how that separates from the stomach. I'm just picking that away here. And there's actually two sides to the liver. Just cutting this connective tissue right here. Remember, it's attached to the diaphragm, so there's our diaphragm muscle. We're gonna cut that away too. So there's one side of our liver. I'm gonna put this in a bag, keep it clean. There we go. And if we just flip the stomach over here, flip it around, there's the other side of the liver. And we'll just trim that away from everything else. There's the rest of our liver. Liver is one of the most nutritious organs. If you like chicken liver or beef liver, you'll like deer liver. We're not actually going to keep the heart because we made a really good heart shot on this deer. Um, but this is another really favorite organ. Really easy to clean up. Very tasty. Very tasty part of the deer. Okay, we've got our gut pile here. You can see we started with the lower intestine. This is where we freed it up first. And then we cut the diaphragm and then we reached up and cut the esophagus. And at that point, all of our guts were free and we were able to pull it out of the deer. So this deer is 100% field dressed. She's ready to go. I'm gonna pack up my stuff and drag her out.